Hey, Bachelor Nation, it's your old friend, Sean Lowe. When it was announced that Ari Leyendijk Jr. would be the next Bachelor, a lot of people's first reaction was, who? I first met Ari on season eight of The Bachelorette. It was in the limo on the way to the mansion. That's where he told me he was a race car driver. And I thought to myself, I don't stand a chance against this guy. And while neither of us got the girl, Ari and I are still friends to this day. In fact, at my wedding, my dad told Ari he was the son he wished he'd always had. Thanks, Dad. For those who don't remember, season eight of The Bachelorette brought me, Ari, and 23 other men to Charlotte, North Carolina, where we all hoped to win the heart of single mom, Emily Maynard. Ari definitely fell head over heels in love with Emily. Every single moment we've shared together has been awesome. She's loved my life. And Ari's heart was broken after Emily chose Jeff over him in the end. <laughs> it's just unreal that it's over. Fans were shocked by Emily's decision, and some thought she made the wrong choice. Kinda like when Rachel chose Brian over Peter. Unlike Peter though, Ari was ready to propose, and he hasn't found love since he was devastated by Emily five years ago. I'd love to be married and find the right girl. But now he's been given a second chance at love. Let me introduce you to your new bachelor, Ari. I'm Ari from Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'm a race car driver. I've been involved in IndyCar for my whole life. I've raced in the Indianapolis 500, and it's been just a passion of mine. He's known as the Kissing Bandit, which really embarrasses him when you say it to his face. So I'll say it again. He's known as the Kissing Bandit, and he certainly has a way with words. Emily, meh. Everything's gone, meh. I knew that, blah, when I did say, ugh. I think we get each other, no. How should I stand? What should I do with my hands? Emily. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ari. Don't worry, buddy. We can't all be professional voiceover artists. For the rest of Ari's story, we got a journey back to the year 2012. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm Ari. Emily. Emily looks amazing, and I think there could be a connection there, but I really think there's some important things we need to talk about. Emily's ex-fiance was also a race car driver, and he passed away on the way to a race. I'm a little nervous about one thing, I'm gonna admit. Tell like, me. so my background mm -hmm. is in racing. So I didn't know if you knew that about me, but I've uh, raced cars since I was 14 years old. I thought it was really thoughtful of Ari to let me know um, about the whole race car thing. I think maybe people would think that I'd be kind of scared off by that, but it's been a big part of my life and he'd be hot in a race car. Ari and Emily's relationship was off to the races on night one and he secured a rose. Not to brag, but so did I. Here is to find and love in Charlotte. Today I have my first one-on-one -on -one date with Emily and I could not be more excited. Today could be the start of something that could last a lifetime or it could be a first date that goes horribly. You just don't know. Do you know where we are? No, where are we? Dollywood. Ari and Emily had a strong connection from the beginning. Thank you for being such You're a welcome. great guy. So, Ari, yes. would you accept this rose? Of course I would. I think you might kind of like me. Emily has exceeded my expectations by, you know, a thousand percent. Their first one-on-one -on -one date ended with a kiss. That was the first kiss of many. Where did you come from? <laughs> Guys like Ari are really, really hard to find. I'm so confident in what we have that I'm not threatened at all by anybody in the house. Ari may have been feeling confident, but he couldn't start skating by because there was one growing threat lurking nearby. Jeff. <laughs> I'm Jeff. Emily. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. During week four, Ari went on his first group date with Emily. Chris. Hey. hey. Ryan. <laughs> Jeff. Sean. Ari. Ari. I have such strong feelings for Emily and I don't feel like anyone in the house has that connection with her, and it feels good. Jeff, would you accept this rose? Yes, I will. Thank you. Despite Ari's strong feelings, he left the group date empty-handed. After that setback, Ari knew he had to step up his group date game by any means necessary. We are in Stratford-upon-Avon, and we're about to act out Romeo and Juliet. And I am gonna play the role of the nurse. <laughs> oh my god. 
You guys look beautiful. <laughs> Agree to disagree, Emily. I'm going crazy right now. <laughs> I'm having a nervous breakdown. You know not how to choose a man, Romeo. His legs excel all men. <laughs> for the hand, the foot, the body. <laughs> you know, these guys really put themselves out there for me today, especially Ari. If you kiss me in every city that we go to, I'd be the happiest man in the world. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're a good kisser. Way to make the rest of us look bad. It was clear that Ari had fallen hard for Emily, and during the romantic one-on-one -on -one date in Prague, Ari knew it was time to tell Emily how he felt. Just been thinking a lot about all of this in you, and I think I realized that I love you. Tonight was a huge step, and now I can completely see myself marrying her. Ari would have whisked Emily away and married her at that very moment if he could have, but there were still four other guys vying for Emily's love. It was down to the final four, and the next step was for Emily to visit Ari's hometown, Scottsdale, Arizona, and meet his family. Hey! Hey! You look beautiful. I just wanted him to park the car so I could kiss him. How are you? I'm good. I missed you. I missed you. And he looked so hot. Emily was too distracted by Ari in a racing suit to be nervous, but Ari was feeling the pressure. And Ari even confided in me that he was nervous Emily wouldn't mesh well with his very European family. I mean, like, you're like the all-American, you know what I mean? And my parents are so European. Hi! Hey. <laughs> Hi! Emily is going to meet my dad, Ari, my mom, Mika, Hi. my twin brothers, Luca and Alec, Alec. and my sister, Maida. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, but I'm hopeful that my parents will accept her and see how much I care about her. Charlotte, I've been to Charlotte. Of course, we raced there uh, in the 90s. You know, that was my first time ever coming to the United States. Uh, actually, it was our honeymoon. Not a very sexy honeymoon. Oh, it was really? a couple yeah. of races. <laughs> so that was my first time in the United States wow. ever. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. Our son totally has a connection with Emily. He really is falling for you. I, I know that. You do? I just can see it. I could definitely propose to Emily. I'm so confident in us. I don't know, it's been almost like a dream, really. So I hope you make it to the end, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> All right. Love you. Good luck. I love you. I had an amazing day. I've never felt this way about any other woman. I'm ready to propose. I am definitely going to marry Emily, and... Slow down there, Ari. I know racing at high speed is your thing, but Emily still had to meet the families of three other men and Jeff's family had doubts about whether he was ready to be a husband and a father. You know, are you ready to be a dad? Does she want to have more kids? And I don't know how to say this, but I've never, I've never seen you want those things yet. I've never seen that in you with these other girls. Ari wanted to make sure that Emily knew he had zero doubts and was all in for a life together. Since the beginning, it was always you and me. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life reminding you every day. I love you so much. After going on one-on-one -on -one dates with all three final guys in Curacao, Emily had to narrow it down to two men. It was a tight race, and I was there to experience all of it. I can still picture the fairy tale ending, but I can picture three different guys being there at the end. Jeff. Jeff, would you accept this rose? Yes. Ari. Would you accept this rose? Of course I would. But it turned out I was the third wheel. Don't worry, I got my own fairy tale ending. But back to Emily and Ari. It was time for Ari to meet Emily's family and show them he was worthy of their daughter's hand in marriage. This is not just another family that I'm meeting. These could be my in-laws. Uh, this is Hi. Ari. Susie. Nice to meet you. And this I'm is my Ari. Nice, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've dated a single mother. I know oh, yeah. how That's I have. Good. So I, I know that daily life is completely different than what we're experiencing mm -hmm. here. And I have that crazy love for her that right. I know that I'll try as hard as I can to, right. to get through whatever comes our way. Ari charmed Emily's mother, but up next was her dad. And he was a little more skeptical. 
it's going to take a man that's that's stronger than average. Yeah. For for Ricky. Is it just me, or is Ari sweating? I can't imagine losing Emily. You know, she's the love of my life, and I'll try anything I can to to never lose her. So I would ask you, if I have your blessing, if I could ask Emily to marry me. His answer was no. Just kidding. He totally said yes. Of course you could, Ari. Particularly when you say that that uh, she's the love of your life. That's a daggone good place to start. Be proud to have you in the family. Of course, that's Emily's decision. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ari had the approval of Emily's parents, but there was one very important person for Emily to consider. Her daughter, Ricky. I am still not sure how I feel about Ricky meeting the guys. I go back and forth. Emily had a change of heart, and she chose to introduce Jeff to her daughter, Ricky. Hey, I'm Jeff. Can you give me a high five? <laughs> how you doing? There's no question in my mind that Jeff would be the best dad and the best husband. After that day with Jeff and her daughter, Emily's mind was made up. I woke up this morning and really had a sense of peace about what I needed to do, but not really any peace about actually going through with it. My heart is broken because nothing has happened for him to ever see this coming. Ari definitely did not see it coming. He was excited for their last date, and he was counting down the hours until he could propose to Emily at the final rose ceremony the next day. I feel like Emily loves me. That moment when Emily looks into my eyes and she can express how she feels is gonna feel so good. Sadly, Ari's dream ended when Emily delivered the crushing blow to an unsuspecting Ari. Our very first date, I felt like it was gonna be me and you, and I don't, I don't know anymore. I don't understand, like, what changed, what? I never thought that I would have to make a choice between you and anybody. I always thought it was just gonna be me and you. And then, you know. You don't have to say it, anything else. I'll go. No, I, Ari. I don't know what you want. I, I thought I knew anything. what you wanted. I, I did too. It's I know. fine. I know. Thank you for sparing me the embarrassment tomorrow. I appreciate that. <laughs> I am confused. I feel stupid. I feel naive. It's just unreal that it's over. It felt really good to fall in love, and it just just makes me realize it's just so hard to find that person. Ari didn't have the chance to get down on one knee in 2012, but I'm hoping he finds Mrs. Wright this season. And Ari, if you need some help, just call me. Check it out on the dramatic new season of The Bachelor, starting this January on ABC.